a month into the new year, and already 2017 has brought so many changes, especially this past week. Some of those changes actually will affect your finances and your budget. So today we have Eric Palmer from Outlook Advisors to help us understand some of these changes we need to really expect and get prepared for. Absolutely. So there's, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to go up in cost, and there's going to be a considerable amount of things that are going to go down in cost. So when it comes to planning for your budget in 2017, you kind of have to itemize a bit more than maybe you normally would to mm -hmm. make sure that you're spending your money in the right place. Now, you mentioned budget, and I think a lot of people are scared to sit down and figure out their budget because it's overwhelming, it's kind of scary, and it, it just takes some time. So what's an easy tip about getting your budget prepared? You know, it's, it's go back to the old pen and paper or, or maybe the Excel file, but, uh, you know, right we, we tend to, to budget from a large number standpoint. I'm going to spend this bulk of money this mm -hmm. month, but really we got to look at it from an itemization standpoint. So let's take food, for example. Uh, in 2017, things like beef are going to start going down in, in, in cost but chicken's going to go up. So when you're making your grocery list, really start paying attention to the itemization. What am I going to spend my money on? Where can I have a little bit of savings here and there? Um, avocados, for example, they've been high in price over the last several years, mm -hmm. um, but we are going to actually see the price of avocados drop in 2017. Really? So when you're doing your healthy salad planning, you know, focus on things like avocados because the prices are going to start to go down. Yeah, you know, that's really interesting because over the years, it seems like beef has been very, very high, so people have always turned to chicken in order to fi to basically make their budget stick. So that's interesting, and avocado, seriously, it seems like everybody waters down their guacamole because right. it's so expensive. Or coconut, that's a big thing, too. You know, we're, we're all into drinking coconut water now or different coconut products. Mm -hmm. The price of coconut's actually gone up 50% last year, and they expect it to continue to go up. So again, really pay attention to the things that you consume and, and, and pay close attention when you make list because it could save you a lot of money down the road. So maybe when you're figuring out your grocery list, look at the staples that you have and then where can they find information on these things like for beef and chicken and maybe they like certain fruits or vegetables. Where can they get the information about those prices and what's going to happen? Google. I think oh. that's the biggest one. Just start to, to Google some of the things that you like and you'll actually be able to see whether it's trending up or down in cost. Oh, who would have thought that, right? right. Google. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, you also brought up something else about travel and I right. thought it was fascinating because spring break is coming up in a couple months and people need to start planning for that now. Absolutely. So travel is going to go up and down in certain categories. So for example, Delta and American Airlines are creating a, 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 a cheaper fare. But the consequence for that fare, of course, is that they're going to nickel and dime you for things like carry-on baggage or, or check-in luggage. So again, if you want to make a, a quick weekend getaway, those are great airlines to focus on. You might get a really low cost of, for a ticket. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to bring baggage, bring luggage, or you want to travel with uh, a lot of individuals, you might have to plan otherwise. So again, planning your vacation for spring break, for the summertime, pay attention to whether or not you're going to certain places. Uh, things like Canada or, or even Western Europe, there's a, a lot of cost that's going to come down. The dollar is very strong, so we have more buying, buying power uh, uh, you know, overseas right now. So again, um, really focusing on doing your research before you plan for your travel because you could save a lot of money down the road. Now, I, I'm going to ask this question. I think I already know the answer, but where do you find information on these uh, low prices, high prices regarding travel? Again, I do a lot of research online. You know, uh, Google's a great place to start, right? <laughs> but, but focus on the resource or the source of the information, right? So look for major names or, of course, the airlines themselves. They're, they're making these announcements now. So if you follow a major news source like USA Today, you're going to mm -hmm. get those notifications and it'll give you enough heads up to know that that might be the airline to focus on. You know what? I noticed when I was planning uh, travel, we just got back from out of state. And I know that the airlines nickel and dime you on everything. And I saw that there were some tools out there, apps, or I think I found where you could put in where you wanted to go and they would send you kind of like updates or something saying when fares were going up or down. Right, and a lot of times that's directly with the airline. So follow each and uh, every airline directly, download their applications and they'll send you notifications as well. Southwest Airlines is really good at doing that to let you know when they have a deal or when you can travel to a certain place domestically mm -hmm. for a lot lower cost. So uh, download all the applications. I know the notifications can be overwhelming, but it's going to save you a lot of money. So when, if you're a... Uh, if you're a small family and you really need to look at your finances and tightening up this year, where is a really good place to start? Like, what is the first thing you do? You mentioned 
pencil and paper. Um, what should be the very first thing you start thinking about? The, the largest expenses. So the groceries are a big one. We, we mm -hmm. spend money on a weekly basis yeah. for our groceries. Also gasoline. You know, depending on how you're traveling um, or how often you're traveling, mm -hmm. you might want to focus on getting gas at a, a specific location in the valley. It might be a lot cheaper for you. Or also looking at purchasing a, a new car. I know electric cars are starting to become a little bit more affordable. Uh, that could be something that could save you a lot of money down the road. Mm. And uh, of course, uh, purchasing gasoline even 20 cents cheaper can, can actually add up over time. So Eric, this is incredibly valuable information. Where where can people find you? Uh, go to our website. It's outlookadvisors.com. Let me tell you, this information, it's so important because things change all the time. 2017 has some huge changes. So thank you so much for all of that, Eric. He's with outlookadvisors.com. And now when we come back, we're going to learn how to make goo with Abrielle. <laughs>